I'm in my bathroom, obviously, because I've got to uh, clean some brewery kit. This stuff is minging, look at this. Yeah, this kit was meant to be retired, so <laughs> we got issues, but I'll give it a good clean. No tripod in here makes things difficult to film. Here's me washing. It'll be clean. Lack of star sound. Can't <laughs> find it. Rather. Who doesn't put plumbing in a brewery? <laughs> in the meantime, I'll tell you what we're making. We are making a uh, smash. I've never made one and I wanted to keep things really simple for this first brew which with old leaking kit and uh, you know, just keep things as pain free as possible while we work out what we're doing in here. So we've got uh, 6k, two of these bags of maritotta and then uh, in total 100 grams of cascade and the yeast is uh, White Labs. WLP002 English Ale Yeast. Stick to what you know when you're doing something new. Yeah, just keep, got to get pouring in there. I haven't accounted for the big space at the bottom. We need them two extra litres. But we knew this was going to happen. Need to see this really. It's uh, it's like porridge. If you if you make oats at home and you've put in not too many oats and you've heated it up and not enough water, it all goes all dry. It kind of looks like that. I'm hoping that's better. That's better. Right, let's add this to this, and you give it a good stir as I add it, because I don't really want to pour it in. Got there eventually, mash is in, the heater is working. Oh, it's, it's getting warm. relatively yeah. warm in here. Yeah. This will probably start helping picking up some heat. It doesn't feel wet on the ceiling, so the extractor fan must be working. I think it's beer o'clock, isn't it? It must be beer o'clock, <laughs> yeah. Where's the biz? <laughs> what are we drinking? Uh, it's Sunday, so we're drinking Sunday Pale. By, who is it by? And Union. Mm, cool. I like the branding. I like simple branding. Yeah. But as a brand goes, it's done a pretty poor job because we had to look at who it was by for a while. Yeah. We are going to drink these out of the cans as well because we're heathens. Well, cheers. cheers, first brew day. First brew. Yeah. Time to uh, sparge. We're kind of making it up as we go along. Um, you know, we've got to use gravity when we have the brewery set up properly. We'll have pumps and everything, but uh, just kind of hoping that this works. It's been a little bit over 60 minutes now, but that's not generally a problem. So we'll get on with a bit of sparging. Your views, I'm sure, are very, very good at this point. <laughs> this will either be good or it won't. Just during that bit of sparging the second one, we've just uh, remembered, or I've remembered, that um, I've forgotten to vol alpha at all. Um, so I think that's probably why we've got a really cloudy uh, bit of beer or wort into the boiler. See what effect that has. I've never forgotten that before, so we'll see how it is. It, I'm assuming it just will mean that there's more trub at the bottom of the fermenter. Let's see. We're into the boiler now. Just waiting for the old uh, hot break to happen so we can stick our first hops in. The uh, story of our day has been that batteries are not working. So uh, the thermometer batteries had run out. We went and sorted that out. Just been to start weighing the hops and the uh, thermometer. But, uh, uh, what do they call those? It's not a thermometer. The thing that weighs stuff to scale. Um, yeah. <laughs> Scales. They've run out of battery too, so we're having to make it up. But 
I'll be fine. First hops. Cascade, somewhere around 45 grams. Sowed by yours truly. <laughs> So we're halfway through this boil, uh, second lot of hops have just gone in, so that's all good. Oh, the door has just opened. Hmm. Um, teething problems, that we knew there were going to be some, so that's why it's good to use the existing kit. Um, so at least we knew that that sort of worked and how it worked. Um, teething problems include, we've got drips coming from this extractor fan, um, it's obviously not meant to deal with this much um, water coming through. We've got drips coming out of the end of this little hose which I haven't uh, cut off yet. Just teething problems, we'll get them sorted. Cast hops in. The final stage of the boil. Cooling done. Dad's turned up to, uh, I don't know, drink beer. Uh, <laughs> cooling's done, time to go into fermenter. So that's good, not very much of it. Don't know what's happened there, we'll have a look into it later. But uh, it's there, ready to go. Go in the fermentation fridge in a mo. Done. Yay! Fermenting has begun. First brew day done. It's the next day now. I just wanted to come out here and check. But we've got some signs of fermentation, so that's good. Obviously, we made a few mistakes. Bit rusty, new place to be brewing, bit of excitement, um, lots of excuses for any issues there. But hopefully we get some good beer out of it, and that's what matters at the end of the day. We'll probably still do another couple of brews on this kit, I would imagine, while I finish brewing off the rest, uh, building the rest even. Um, so we'll see what we can make out of that. I'm looking at another fermentation fridge at the moment so that we can have a couple on the go at a time. But again, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to see more. We will be doing a lot more brew days now. Uh, as well as the actual brewery build, lots more to do on that, but running out of cash, so uh, we'll do some more brewing while we uh, save for some more building. <laughs> Catch you next time.